Welcome to GLC News. Brought to you by the Future Leaders Club. Hi, I'm Toko. And I'm Catherine. Next Friday, April 5th, will be our annual GLC pep rally. The following week will be the NJSL8 Stay Test. Testing will start on April 8th and will end on April 12th. It's very important to be in school those five days. Remember to get a good night's sleep, eat a healthy breakfast, and come to school on time. Good luck, GLC. We hope that you do your best on the test. Hi, I'm Cynthia. And I'm Katie. We are here to announce the March winners of GLC attendance race. Drum roll, please. Congratulations, first grade. Your grade level has won a free jeans day. Thank you for coming to school every day. Hi, I'm Maria. And I'm Sarah. Now we would like to continue with our Kindness Count segment. We are so excited to report that more GLC students have been caught showing kindness. This week, we have five student shout outs. Amaya Boykin for always going out of her way to help others in class. Michelle Borges for helping a friend with math strategies during math class. Also, Gustavo Vieira for always being polite and having manners. Rosie Salvatore for helping to cheer up a friend by sharing her snack at lunch. And finally, Bruno Moreira for cutting and donating his hair to Locks for Love to make wigs for cancer patients. Teachers, remember to submit the nomination form for any students that deserve a kindness count shout out. Look for your names in the lunchroom. Thank you for modeling kindness in our school. We are continuing our celebration of Women's History Month. Let's take a closer look at two important women. Sonia Sotomayor was born June 25, 1954. She was born in the Bronx, New York. However, her parents were from Puerto Rico. Did you know that Sonia was the first Latina woman to join the Supreme Court of the United States? She is also only the third female ever to be appointed on the Supreme Court Justice. Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Victoria, today's guest anchor on GLC News. Thanks for helping us out, Victoria. My pleasure. We are going to take a closer look at Helen Keller. She was born on June 27, 1880. At 19 months old, Helen became blind and deaf as a result of an unknown illness. She learned to communicate with sign language even though she was blind and deaf. She went on to attend Radcliffe College. Helen became a teacher, author, and a peace activist. She was an inspiration to adults and children. Also, just a quick reminder that your Arbor Day contest forms are due April 2nd. Good luck to all participants. Hi, I'm Victor. And I'm Nishawan. March Madness is a college basketball tournament made up of 68 teams. It's a single elimination tournament, and the final will be played on April 8th. The final will be played in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Good luck to all the teams participating in March Madness. May the best team win. Thank you for joining us for this edition of GLC News, brought to you by the Future Leaders Club. Ringing your news right to your classroom door.